Hi everybody. Um, I'm, this is a bit of a strange request, but just comes up that you know that I am now a single person, and uh, I will continue to endeavour to to look for a soulmate, uh, someone to share my life with, and and someone to grow old with. And uh, just looking at what is family and and what is family about, uh, probably applying that to the scriptures, but also just just in a general conversation. Um, basically, I feel that every single man on this earth and every single woman, there is a soulmate out there for you. There is someone out there for you. Now, if we tur turn to Acts 10, verses 11. So, um, if we all go to Acts, Acts 10, uh, verses 11. And I'm just going to quickly, before going into that scripture, um, what I want to do is... I want to just have a quick prayer, and that is, Lord Jesus, I really don't fully understand where I'm going with this um, sermon, um, this this talk, and Lord Jesus, I just ask you to, to direct the Holy Spirit and bring the Holy Spirit down on to this, uh, this talk tonight, Lord Jesus, and just get the Holy Spirit to direct me in how I will bring this to, to part. See, Act 10... So we go to Acts 10, verses 2. He, it says there, He and all his family were devout and God-fearing and gave generous to those in need and prayed, for, prayed to God regularly. In verse 3 it says, One day about three in the afternoon he had a vision that distinctly saw an angel of God who came to him and said, Cornelius. Verse 4 goes on to say, Cornelius started to him and in fear what is the Lord he had asked. The angel asked, Your prayers, gifts to the poor, have come to us as a memorial offering before God. See, at the end of the day, we're talking about what is family. If you've got a family, of course, that are all Christians, but then if you've got a family where you're a Christian and the rest of your family is not a Christian, and what God tells us about family is a family network's important. And say you're in a family situation where you have, you, you, you've got with a woman, uh, you're waiting for your divorce to come through, and your divorce might be coming through, say, in, in approximately about four months' time, five months' time, and you've been living with that woman. But when you've been living with that woman, you know that your divorce is already on the way. You know that you are going to be divorced, and suddenly she ends up pregnant. Well, if, if you're future husband is a God-fearing man and basically, excuse me, is your is your husband, though you just haven't put the, the wedding ring on, you know you shouldn't have any fears that he's going to run away from you. When a man has uh, been on the streets and, and, and has shared his testimony about being on the streets, and which is myself, and, and, and has, hasn't really had a father role in his life or a mother role in his life, well, of course, the, 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 the wife, the companion, the soulmate that I end up with and I end up getting her pregnant and she ends up having a child, I will love her 100%. I will love that child 100%. And this is the thing about what it always goes in the Bible about praying to God regularly. If we go to Ecclesiastics 3, it is a time for everything. And, you know, if you are looking for a soulmate or looking for a partner, keep trying to look for a partner. Keep trying to look for a, a partner and a soulmate because it's going to happen. Because if you've given your life to God and you're born again and you've given your life to God or you give your life to God, well, as God says in Ecclesiastics 3 verses 1 to 8, we must give ourselves to God as the holy sacrifice to allow the Holy Spirit to accomplish God's plan for us. God's plan for us. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what God's plan for me is. But if it's God's plan that I am to end up with the, with the right woman, and that right woman is whoever that right woman is, then at the end of the day, um, if I end up getting her pregnant, and I ended up thinking, at the end of the day, I'm not going to get with that woman in the first place if I'm not going to be 100% committed to that person. And I know that, that, that the person that I get with and is going to be my soulmate, that I'm going to be there for life. 
we're going to grow old together. We're going to enjoy each other's memories and, 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 and enjoy each other in God together and walk in God together. But it says, goes on, it goes on to say that allow the Holy Spirit to accomplish God's plan and be careful not to be out of God's will and miss the timing and the purpose of our lives. How many times have we missed the timing and the pur- purpose of our lives? Because we don't listen to God. We go, oh, but God said this is not the right timing. How do you know it's not the right timing? It's only you, you you're only saying it's the right timing. Are you walking in the will of God? And if you are walking in the will of God, then you will know the right timing and you will know the right purpose. If you know it's the right purpose for you to go out and look for a soulmate now and look for a companion and have a family, have children and all the rest of it and grow in God together as a couple so you read the Bible together, you pray together every day, you do all these things but remember we're only human and because we're only human and we're all sinners originally, we're all sinners but we have made a choice to say, Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sacrifice to you, to you, to allow the Holy Spirit to accomplish God's plan for us. Because we say, Lord Jesus, I surrender to you, I give you my life to you, Lord Jesus. I give you my life to you, Lord Jesus. And once you surrender to Jesus and say, I want to accept Jesus into my heart, then you are allowing the Holy Spirit to accomplish God's plan for us. But you've got to be careful from the day that you give your life to Jesus that you are doing the will of God and you are not missing the timing or the purpose of God. So getting back to what I was saying to you about being God-fearing in Act 10 and 2, you can be God-fearing but your family may not be God-fearing. But you know God commands us to do one thing is keep praying for your family. But if I had, you know, these are all the fears that a woman has. Well, okay, I will get with this this guy. He will become my soulmate. But what if he runs away from me? Well, if you're walking in the will of God and you're doing what God says, then you should not have that fear. Because that's doubt. And, and doubt is not of God. Doubt is of the devil. And you need to say, in the name of Jesus, through the blood of Jesus Christ, I need to put that doubt under my feet. I, in the blood of Jesus Christ, I surrender. I break those chains of doubt. I put the devil under my feet. And I command the devil, in the name of Jesus Christ, to get under my feet. And I ask the archangels of God to come and minister to me. And fill that spot in me that needs to be filled. So the devil can't come back. But sometimes we miss the boat. And sometimes we cannot see where we're going. Yes, the question is, you get with a man and and you, you start a relationship with that man and then you start saying, what if and what if this and what if this. At the end of the day, if you're both Christians, if you're both Christians and you're both walking in the will of God, then you're going to know it's the right purpose and the right timing that you both have got together. See, Jesus says, Jesus says one thing, How do you build a family? Okay, you have to start looking for a woman. And in my case, yes, unfortunately I was married, but the thing is I was only living with a woman for five months. So this is the law of the land. The law of the land says that I can't get a divorce till the the 14th, 15th of December. And then after the 15th of December, I will officially get the paper in the mail saying your divorce has been done and finalised. Um, in April sometime but you know what these are fears these are the reservations that we have I will go on about fears and reservations as I go furthermore into the scriptures of God